Hi, this is Richard Black. And today's lesson is going to be a short one, but it's going to be one that's going to fulfill some of your Christmas gifts. I make dog, dog collars on the side. I have a large dog. I have a Newfoundland, and I love making him collars to wear. And I usually added him spots or the embellishment that you can buy um, at different places like Michael's or Tandy Leather or anything along that. But today we're going to make him a Christmas one. I'm going to show you the parts I'm going to need. Cut yourself a strap of leather measured out to what you believe to be your the length for your dog. We're going to need some jingle bells that you see. Um, you can buy those at craft stores also. We're going to need a belt buckle, a D-ring, and leather shoelaces. That's the parts we're going to need, and as far as tools, we're going to use this. You're going to need a mallet, a strap end cutter, an oblong cutter, a hole punch, some Chicago screws, of course your ruler, a pencil, and also I made templates for when I make belts so I can lay it on and uh, get all my holes straight. So let's begin, okay? Okay, we're at our cutting board. Let's take our end strap cutter. And I already have the uh, length measured out for my dogs. Okay, after cutting the ends, with your strap end punch. Go ahead and put your templates on the on the belt and we'll make our holes. Draw our holes on there so we know we have a nice straight line on the belt. Okay, and then on the other end, this will be the other end of the belt. I like to put five holes, give yourself an adjustment. Okay, now we'll take our hole punch, go ahead and punch our holes out. Give a little twist and it comes out a little bit easier. This is a mallet that I bought Tandy leather, oh, about 20 years ago, 15 years ago, I guess. Um, they still sell them, but they call them the Al Stolman hammers. It's a nice, heavyweight, uh, plastic head mallet. Now we use our oblong punch. Okay, now we'll take this over to the dye-in table and put a nice color on it. Okay, we're at our, my dye-in table and for this color I'm gonna use an ox blood. It's a leather dye. I have a little red for Christmas. I'm going to use a little wool pad and also rubber gloves to keep from dyeing your fingers. All right, let's begin to dye.
make sure you dye everything good, even the edges. I found that rubbing it in really good helps the color stay on a lot longer. Even use your gloves at time to rub it into the leather. Here we go, we'll let this dry. Okay, after it sets up a bit, before we buff it out, let's put a little edge dye on the, the edges to give it a little contrast. I use Edge Coat by Feeblings. A dauber. Okay, after the edge dye sets up, what I use is a piece of uh, denim off an old pair of Levi's. You can use denim, you can use canvas, uh, they have slickers, but basically what I do is just pull it along the surface. And what it does is smooth out the sides. There, it feels a lot better. You'll see that. I don't know if you can see it. Piece of wool and we'll go ahead and do a little buff out on the dye. Bring out the luster of the ox blood color. Okay, I'll get myself a piece of wool here and we'll just apply this. Gonna give a nice sheen to it. All right, we'll let that set up. Okay, we're back to the table here, and we have our belt dyed. We have our bells out, and what I'm gonna do is make me a template so I know where my hole punches are. I cut a piece of uh, poster stock, same width as the belt. I made marks where the two holes are. There. So I know what my space is in the middle. And by my measurements here, it looks like I can go every two inches to put a bell. So I got what I had is one of these pencil compasses here. And what I'm gonna do is go down and mark the center. Whoops, whoops. Of the template. Now, what I'm going to do is to mark every two inches so be there, there. And then we're going to punch holes how we're going to use our uh, shoestring lace, leather lacing. I'm going to come up through the hole. through the bell, then back through the hole so you won't see the lace. So let's cut our holes into the template. What we're gonna do is make a hole on each side of our mark. So we come up and then go back down.
I haven't figured out any other way to do this yet, but if you do, let me know. There we go, we have all our holes punched. And what we'll do is lay it on our belt. Let me punch the uh, my marker holes. And those will line up with the belt. As you see where the last hole is in the belt, that's where my marker hole will be set up. And the last one is all right. Now just go through and mark your holes. And our last two holes. All right, now we'll punch the holes in the belt. Okay, we have all of our holes punched. Now what we're gonna do is use our leather lace and we're gonna come up through the first hole. What I did is tied a knot on the end, real nice tight knot. I'm gonna string that through and I'm gonna put it through my bell. Go through the second hole. Pull it nice and tight. There, you see? Now on the back side, we come up through the hole. This time we'll alternate colors and I'll put a red. Keeping it tight, taut. And keep repeating this technique, alternating your colors. Keeping this tight, now we'll proceed the rest of the way down till we get to the end. Okay, when we get to the end and come through the last hole, basically what I'm going to do is just tie another knot, nice and tight. There you go. Use your scissors, cut off the end. Done. Now we'll go ahead and put on our uh, buckle and our Chicago screw. Like that.
And here's our finished dog collar. Let's call my da dog Sh Shadow in and let's see how it looks on him, okay? Shadow, come here. Come here, buddy. On you, okay? Yeah, you stay here. All right, here's my dog Shadow, and he's pretty hairy, but this is the this is the collar on him, and he's going to make some nice sounds when he walks around. Say Merry Christmas, Shadow. Well, here's the finished collar again, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like to try it for the holidays and give your dog a little treat. And you can hear him bouncing around and jingling, and happy leathering. This is Richard Black.